Hello, and welcome to the landscape painting series. Today we are going to be creating a holiday painting, um, which we will go step by step in this painting here. So what I'm going to need you to do is go ahead and prepare your palette. Um, you're going to need a few colors, and the colors that you're going to need today are going to be blue paint, uh, yellow paint, white paint, and black paint in addition to red paint. So make sure you have those five colors. Um, and make sure you have your cup of water and your paint brushes. Um, today I'm gonna be working with a big brush, um, a medium sized brush, and a tiny brush. So these are my three. Um, so I'm gonna have you go ahead and take your paint brushes and put those paint brushes in your cup of water. So that way you'll be ready to use them. Um, and the first thing that you're gonna need to do is go ahead and flip your canvas so it's nice and tall. So instead of your canvas being uh, this way, horizontal, go ahead and flip it so your canvas is vertical. That way you have room for your sky. Um, and then go ahead and take out your big brush here. And what you're gonna do with your big brush is you are going to mix two colors together. Um, the two colors are gonna be yellow. So go ahead and dip your brush inside of your yellow with your big brush. And you're also gonna mix it with a little bit of blue. Um, so you're gonna make like this greenish color here, which I'll make on my palette. So it's sort of like at first when you start to mix um, your colors, your color is gonna turn out into like green. Um, so that's using yellow and um, blue paint. In addition to my yellow and blue paint, I'm also going to mix, we're actually going to mix three colors. I'm going to take a little bit of white paint now and mix that in inside of my blue and yellow. So the shade that you want to sort of come up with is a very light shade of this green. It's like a pastel green. So that's my green there. I mixed uh, blue, yellow, and a little bit of white paint to make this pastel green. Once you make this green, what I want you to do is go to, like towards the bottom part of your canvas, I would say, you're gonna create um, a straight line. So it's a little bit lower than in the middle. So you have a little bit more of your sky and then the water part will make it just a little bit less. And you're gonna take your green and go all the way across with a straight line. One thing I'm going to do is make this space. I'm going to do another green line to make it my line just a little bit thicker. So I'm kind of like, I want at least like this much of my green taking up like half of my canvas and just running that all the way across from back and forth um, to create this section of green. Kind of making sure that it's nice and bright. Once you have this area filled with green, the middle part of your canvas, go ahead and swoop up and make a big, like, heel with your green. 
So you're going to have like this kind of like bump on your line to go all the way up and then to go all the way across. And I'm just going to fill in this space here with the green. So I have this kind of mountain shape um, of green in the middle of my canvas. Once you have this shape of green, you can go ahead and let your painting dry. And you're going to go ahead and clean your brush and get rid of all of that green paint. And the next step is going to be taking your big brush and then dipping it inside of your blue paint. And this time we're just going to use um, some blue and we are going to make baby blue. So in order to make baby blue, I'm going to have to mix two colors together. And that's going to be blue and uh, white paint to make baby blue. So your goal here is kind of to get this, this shade of baby blue. So it's like my baby blue there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right on top of my green. Um, and I want you to do this too. And take your baby blue and just create this big swoop all the way across. You want like there to be like a little bit of space between your green and your blue. And what I'm going to do is meet up with my green and put this blue down right over my green. So this process, your green and your blue are going to sort of blend together a little. You're actually going to, you might even see some uh, teal, which is kind of like a bluish green color. Um, so it's important to kind of blend them together when you're doing this part. So I'm just going to blend both my blue and my green together to kind of create this like transition from uh, baby blue to green. Oh, kind of like my baby blue to my green. And once you do that, go ahead and clean your brush. And then we will work on the next step. So the next step is actually adding on um, some dark blue. So what I'm going to have uh, you do is go ahead and take your big brush after you blend those two blues together um, in your green and dip your brush inside of your blue paint and dip it inside of your black paint. So you're going to mix these two colors together, uh, blue and black. I can test it out too on my canvas here to see if that's the color. So that's like the color there. Definitely a dark blue um, color and compared to my baby blue. So I have black and blue mixed together. Make sure when you're making this dark blue, you're not using the... Um, the baby blue mixture because then your black might turn into more of a gray shade. So make sure you use a new batch of blue um, and black paint and mix those two together only. So it's like a, a dark blue shade like this. Um, and what you're going to do is go ahead and fill up the entire top of your canvas um, with this dark blue. 
Um, what I'm going to do is start near my baby blue first, since I figure I'll, I'll mix those together anyways. Um, and putting my dark blue here and going right on top of my baby blue. So it kind of skims it slightly. And they might mix together a little. I want to be careful about blending it too much. I don't want to over blend like the edges just because I don't want gray to appear. So you can make your dark blue meet up with it, but don't blend it in too much. And once you do that, um, you can continue to fill up all of this top part with your dark blue. So that way you have this beautiful night sky. Here canvas. Whenever I'm working with black, I like to just keep overlapping with my dark blue. As you see, I'm going over the dark blue multiple times just to get that um, coat of paint so I don't see my canvas underneath anymore. And it's really optional and up to you, but I always like to paint the sides too and the top of my canvas.
So just keep continuing to fill in your uh, background until you don't see your canvas underneath. So I like to at least put at least three um, coats of paint of blue. I would say that's more than enough paint um, for my night sky. And the next step is going to be adding on some of our water. Um, so what we're going to do is dip our brush inside of back inside of that dark blue. So the same color as the uh, sky. And what you're going to do is create this kind of design on your water here. So what I'm going to do is make like this big uh, zigzag line um, from the top part of my green sky and working my way all the way down. So you're going to sort of make this like big zigzag shape on the side of your canvas. That's going to be like our water on the side. And after you make that zigzag shape, what I want you to do is go ahead and fill in this space here with your uh, dark blue. So all of this, I'm going to start to fill in inside of my zigzag. So continuing to fill in the sides um, with the dark blue and it's kind of creating this water on the side of your canvas. So the goal here is you kind of want to have like make a few like jagged lines so your water is kind of like coming into um, your middle space of your canvas. So it doesn't have to be perfectly like straight. And as I do this, I'm also getting rid of like that like zigzag line shape. And really just adding in a few more streaks of this dark blue. So it almost hits like the middle of your um, canvas. So you want at least like this much dark blue on the side of your canvas there. After you feel like you have enough blue on the side of your canvas, um, I want you to go ahead and go to the opposite side of your canvas and do the same thing, but we're not going to put as much dark blue. So I would say I'm going to do like a few lines on the side that just take up like a very tiny space of my um, canvas. So if you were to compare the two, definitely this side would have a lot lesser dark blue. 
and just kind of streaking that by starting at the very top and then working my way to the bottom of uh, my canvas. Going over this side, making sure that this is off filled and both sides of my canvas are filled too. You can also paint the side of your canvas just like you did with the sky. If you don't have sides, that's okay. So I would say that's more than enough dark blue on my canvas. As you see, I have this side painted with a lot more dark blue, and then I have this side that has a little bit lesser um, of that dark blue color. So the next step is going to be adding on some of my baby blue here. Um, so I'm actually going to clean my brush, and I'm going to have you do that too. And go ahead and dip your brush inside of your blue, just your pure blue here. So it kind of looks like a baby blue, but I don't have any white mixed in this time. So that's my regular blue. And with my regular blue, I'm gonna go in and create more streaks. And I'm gonna keep up with this kind of zigzag shape um, as I do this since this is my water and it's best to kind of etch out the design first before um, continuing to fill it in so you're gonna do this like blue on both sides of your blue the main goal here is to keep like this middle part empty so like this part we're going to fill later with green and i want this part to be filled and then this part to be filled so that's one thing we can work on in adding blue and leaving a small section of your water empty so you're going to fill this area your blue might mix it with the dark blue, and that's completely fine. And since this is our water, creating these streaks helps it look more like water. Kind of streaking that all throughout my water here. I think it looks really cool, especially when you streak your blue um, to hit the side of your canvas, too. So even like your dark blue, I still want to see the dark blue, but my blue is kind of streaked on top of my dark blue. So there's kind of like this blending going on um, while I put my blue down.
feel free to add in more blue, add in your own twist to the water. Since this is your painting, you can change it up and add even more waves um, to your dark blue. So just streaking that blue all the way across and in the middle here. And I still have this empty space where my um, green will be. So whenever you're doing this part, uh, make sure that you're leaving like this space here um, empty. So once you feel like you have enough um, of your canvas filled in, like I would say that's more than enough um, blue for me, you can go ahead and clean your brush. And the next part is adding on some green to our water. So this step, make sure that you clean your brush really good, getting rid of all of that um, paint and Make sure that it's ready to go, your big brush still. And with your big brush, what you're going to do is mix. If you have to remake this color, um, you can. I actually still have the color on my palette. Um, to make this color, this is the same color that we made earlier at the beginning of our painting. Um, so you're going to have to mix yellow, um, blue, and white to make this color. So I'm actually going to make a, a another batch here. So I'm mixing my yellow, my blue, and my white paint. And there's my green color again. Same shade as the color that we used in the beginning. And with this green here, I'm just going to fill in this middle space um, with this green. So this is going to be like the reflection for our setting sun and taking that green and working my way all the way down till I reach the bottom of my canvas. And as you see, I'm just kind of taking my brush and doing it like that. So it's kind of like fanning out this green. And as I do this, I'm also gonna start to streak this green out so it overlaps on top of my blue. This part is a really cool way to add in um, some texture to our water while we fill in our painting. I'm really getting this cool kind of like blending going on with my painting here. So even like this corner area, I feel like there's a lot more um, green right here. So I'm just kind of streaking out my green um, to even reach this part of my water. So you're going to take your green and just keep filling in that space and streak out some of the lines too. So you have like this kind of jagged Z-shaped line on your water. Now it's important not to over blend. So once you get this blending, it's happening for you. Um, the next part is adding on a little teal. 
Um, so what I want you to do is go ahead and take your blue and you're going to mix. You don't have to actually clean your brush. You're going to make teal. Now to make teal, it's going to be a lot of blue and a little bit of that green color that we were working with. You might actually already see the teal popping up, but this is my teal color now. Um, and that is mixed. Um, that's yellow and a lot of blue and a little bit of white to make this teal color. And with this teal color, I'm just going to go to the edges here and add that around my green. So kind of like adding in some teal um, to both sides of the green. You can hardly see it, but it is blended in there and I have some teal next to my green. So the main goal is to have this middle space green and then the outer part, um, you're going to put this teal color. Not too much of that, just a little bit to bring out our painting. And that would be it for our water. And the next step is adding on some of our bright lights to our sky. So for this part, you're going to have to, if you need to refresh your yellow, uh, go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that as well. And using the same color green that we made to make our sky and the middle of our water, we're going to use that same color. So that's green, yellow, and a little bit of white paint. Green, yellow, and white. Um, so there's my green again. And this time, I'm going to take this green and make a big streak um, on my sky here. So I'm going to take my green and streak it till I reach the side of my canvas. So it's almost like this big loop that you're going to make. These are like the northern lights that are going to be in front of our dark sky. It's almost like a big slide. Um, once you make that big slide, you're going to make another curved line to reach the top part going the opposite direction. So you're now you're going to have like this big loop line. This is a really fun part and makes your painting uh, really pop out when you do that part. So I have like this kind of interesting vase shape. And then what I want you to do is streak another line and streak that to go about right here. So you're going to make like this big loop shape next to the first loop shape that you make. After you do that, then you're going to make another curved line. And this one curves over to kind of leave a little space. So my main goal here is I want like a little sliver of my night sky. So it's kind of like I have like a little upside down triangle shape. And when you do this part, if your background mixes in a little bit, that's OK. Like my dark blue is mixing in. Um, and that's completely fine. So after you make these big green shapes, then what you're going to do is keep making shapes and since if you've ever seen the northern lights in person, I've never, but they are super bright in our sky. So I'm just going to keep filling in this space between my two curved lines by making big streaks and curvy lines on my sky here. And we'll try to go in the same direction best to 
kind of overlap. So it's really pretty against our night sky. So as you see, I'm just kind of working my way up, filling in all of the spaces. You might still see some slivers of your sky and that's completely fine. And then the next part is adding on some green to this space too. So I'm gonna do the same thing and take this green and fill in this area too. Once you do that, you're gonna create another streak. And this one's gonna be, I would say about right here. I made like a big um, C-shaped streak on this side. So now I have like this interesting design and then I have like this big C-shape on this side. So that is all I have for my green. And one thing you're gonna do is go ahead and clean your brush. And the next thing, adding on some of our blue color here. So go ahead and take your brush and dip it inside of your baby blue. Um, so that is going to be your white and your uh, blue paint. So back to our baby blue color. Um, and I'm going to add some baby blue to my northern lights here. So I'm going to take my baby blue and streak that all the way on top of my green on the edges here. So you're going to make like this big kind of curvy line on the side. I'm also going to go to the opposite side and add some of this baby blue to the edges and just kind of overlapping on top of all of my green. So your goal here is not to cover up your green, just to kind of overlap on top. So you have this like really cool shape of baby blue. And I'm going to do the same thing to this green shape too. I'm going to add big baby blue streaks starting from the edges. And then going to the opposite edge and streaking my baby blue right on top of my green. And you might even see like a teal color that pops up. So that's how my baby blue looks on top of my green. Once you add that, what you're going to do is take your baby blue and I want you to start to streak this kind of C shape too. So you want to add in some baby blue streaks on your C shape. I would say this part, make like multiple streaks to kind of make your baby blue a little bit bigger and streaking this area. So that's like all the baby blue I'm gonna put down for that. And one thing you're gonna do is go ahead and take out your medium sized brush next. Um, so go ahead and get rid of your big brush and get your medium sized brush ready. And we're gonna add on some purple to our painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my red and I'm gonna mix my blue together, my red and blue. Um, and this creates purple. 
I want my purple to be light, so I'm gonna mix some white inside um, my purple. Just show you my shade of purple here. It's like a pastel purple. Um, so you wanna make sure you're mixing white inside of your red and your blue. And with your pastel purple, um, make sure you're kind of trying to make this shade here. It's a really pretty pastel purple. Um, you're going to add some pastel purple to your sky here. So what I'm going to do is streak some purple on the edge of my loop shape here. So I have like this big purple streak on the side. I'm not going to put as much purple um, as much as our green and our blue. Once you streak that purple on the side, um, I want you to put a few streaks on the opposite side. So throughout your this kind of shape, I'm going to streak some purple on top of all of my streaks. And so I have kind of like my purple mixing in throughout my painting. We have purple northern lights. So since I want my northern lights to appear like they're blending together with uh, my background, one trick is taking my medium sized brush and cleaning it. And I want you to go ahead and do that too. And what you're going to do is go back into your baby blue color. And with your baby blue, you're just going to streak the edges here. I'm going to do that to both um, edges of my shape here. So I took my baby blue and I went right here and just streaked a little baby blue on this side. And then I want you to streak a little baby blue on this side. I'm also going to streak my baby blue in this middle space. And what I mean by streak is not using too much paint. So you're just going to kind of lightly brush it on the side here. So it kind of appears like there's baby blue on the side, and then there's baby blue in the middle and on this side. And now that I have that streaked, I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and dip it inside of your dark blue next. Um, it's important to move a little fast once you put this light blue down because we want to blend it in. So using my dark blue, I'm just going to blend in the edges. Um, right here. So I have kind of like this dark blue blending into my light blue. You see how now they're kind of blended together compared to this one. So I'm going to do the same thing to this space too and taking my dark blue, which is the black and blue mixture, just kind of blending that in into my night sky. You want to do that to any space that you see your um, your blue. So now I have kind of like this blending going on at the top part, on the side, and on this side. So that's all of my 
blending that I'm going to do for my painting. Um, once you have your sky blended, go ahead and take out your tiny brush and we're going to work on adding our mountains in. So if you have to refresh your black, go ahead and do that. And using my tiny brush dipped in black, um, what I'm going to do is create a mountain. So starting right here, I'm going to do this kind of triangle shape that has like bumpy lines. And that's at the edge of your canvas. And you want to make it kind of like right next to this big uh, shape of northern light. Now, my mountains are going to be shaped kind of similar. So when you do that first mountain, you're going to do another kind of curvy mountain. And then you're going to do another one. So you have kind of like this, um, these three mountains on the side of your canvas. that up so you can see the rocky mountains. Now this space is where I'm going to put my sun at so I'm going to leave this space empty and I'm going to make another tinier curvier mountains about right here. So when you do this line you're going to curve it and curve it over to make another set of tinier mountains. And as you see, my tiny mountains are just kind of like triangle shapes that have a little bit of bump on them to make them look kind of rocky. What you're going to do after you make your Rocky Mountains, so I'm going to create a line underneath all of my Rocky Mountains, just a straight line. So I know that that space I'm going to go ahead and fill in. And then I want you to go ahead and start to fill in all of your mountains once you finish making that straight line going all the way across and filling in my mountains with my black paint. That's one cool thing about landscape paintings is just kind of filling in and using that black paint to really create a um, beautiful mountain on top of your water. So you want to make sure you're filling it all in just like this. And you can also make your mountains wrap around to the side of your canvas. That would look really cool too. So continuing to fill in all of the mountains until you don't see your canvas underneath anymore. So 
So I would say that is more than enough paint um, for my mountains. And the next step is adding on a moon to our painting. So go ahead and clean your brush. Make sure you get rid of all of that um, black paint. Make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm going to dip my tiny brush in my white paint. And I want you to do the same and create a small setting moon. So I'm going to create this kind of circle um, right over my mountains and make it so it's kind of low since it is a setting moon. And just filling in my moon with my white paint. Whenever I fill in moon, um, whenever I use the white to fill in a moon, I like to layer with at least two times of white paint just to make sure that it's bright. And you want to kind of center it over that green that we were working with earlier. And as you see, I kind of have like this moon over my uh, mountain. Once it, once you get it bright enough like this, um, you can let it be. And the next step is adding on our stars. So for the stars, I like to use uh, the back of my brush or the front. Um, if it's easier for you, you can always use the back part to make your stars. I'm going to use the front and just making the trick about stars is to make them really tiny so that way they don't look like snow. And you're just going to kind of space them out, um, starting in this little uh, area here. And as you see how tiny I made them. So make sure if they come out really big, just use a little bit less paint and just kind of make them like clustered. Not in perfect order. I think they look better if they're just kind of like um, celestial stars throughout our sky. Um, and you can put your stars wherever you like. Um, I'm going to put my stars on the side of my um, northern lights on this corner. Putting them over my um, mountains. And I'm also going to put them near my moon. Just make sure you're being careful and making sure that they're staying tiny. If one is bigger, that's fine too. Like this one is a little bigger than my other. So, but we can try to make them all the same um, size. And once you have your stars, make sure you put them even in the middle of your northern lights right here. And you can even paint them on the side of your um, canvas. So that way you have stars speckled all over. So that's all the stars that I'm going to put down. And I like to streak a little white in my northern lights too. So taking your white, I want you to streak just kind of like a few streaks of white um, with your using your tiny brush. And what you're going to do is kind of streak it in the middle of your northern lights and on the side um not too many streaks i would say about like three 
you could make like a curvy streak here and a curvy streak in the middle and then a curvy streak on the side of your painting. So that's like all the streaks that I'm going to put down for my sky. So not too many of those streaks there. Um, and then the final part of our painting is adding on a few streaks to our water. So since our moon is kind of illuminated over our water here, I'm going to take a little white and just kind of streak and make a reflection um, by making many lines from the top of the water and staying right over the green um, reflection that we made earlier. Whenever you're making a reflection, it's always, I like to think less is more. So don't put too much white down so you don't see your green. Just kind of put a few streaks of white. Um, and this is using my tiny brush. I'm just kind of streaking it all underneath. I even like to streak a little bit of white on the opposite side of on the side of my canvas so like let's say about right here um streak a little bit of white on your dark blue part and i'm even going to add in a few streaks on the other part of my dark blue. So now I have like a few streaks on uh, this side of my canvas too. So that way it appears like your stars are kind of illuminating on your water. And then the last part of our painting is adding on some baby blue um, to this white part. So go ahead and clean your brush and then dip your brush inside of the pure blue. And what you're gonna do is right over and around this white part, I'm gonna put a little bit of baby blue to make it appear like I have my white is kind of blended in more. So you can put that baby blue right on top of your white. And then after you do that, go ahead and clean your brush once more and dip your brush inside of your green, um, the same green as the background of our sky. Um, so that's the blue and the white and um, the yellow mixed together. And you're gonna take a little bit of this green and just put a streak of green on top of your white on this edge. And that would be our celestial sky painting. Um, so the best thing I would say is to sign your painting, make sure that you sign it with um, I would suggest like a dark color, like black paint and put your signature on the side. So everyone knows that you did it. You can sign it like this. So I hope you enjoyed this landscape series and learned how to create um, northern lights and stars and mountains. Um, thank you for joining me for this landscape series and see you later.